So my name is Kara Jacobs. I went to Fairham. I graduated in 2011 and I was hired by Roanoke County Police Department uh, about three weeks later. And I've been there ever since. So I went through the academy and that was about a six month process. And then I uh, went to patrol for about six or seven years. And then I was hired or was promoted to sergeant. One thing that I've noticed the difference between men and women, I think in, in law enforcement is women tend to think more before they act and give more time to the situation than, than men do. Having women, men and women on a police force is important because you have two different perspectives. They're very supportive. I mean, I, I've, you know, from the time I got hired, they were supportive of me and any time I had something that, you know, affected me a little bit different than it would have affected m my male co-workers. I, I had, you know, I had mentors, both male and female mentors from the beginning of my career that I could go to and, and get help or get advice. Um, probably the biggest thing is uniforms, they're not really cut for women. <laughs> so I think um, that, you know, having mentors in the department that I could go to and explain this is why I need, you know, this or this is why I need to go get a women's cut pant. <laughs> we need to have a women's cut option. Um, they were very supportive of that. Uh, Reno County is a great place to work because there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of room to get your feet wet in different aspects of law enforcement and um, Reno County puts a very large emphasis on training. If you're interested in mental health or interested in traffic enforcement or um, you know, investigations, they put an emphasis on that training and getting you the training that you need to get where you want to be. If you're a young female and interested in law enforcement, I'd say, uh, first of all, do a ride along. You can kind of see what a patrol officer does day to day and what we deal with and um, kind of some options for you at while you're on patrol. Uh, the other thing I can say is we have an internship program, uh, which would allow you to not only do ride alongs, but you could come in and see the different services, the different divisions uh, within the department and how they work and how every, you know, what the big picture is for the department and how everything works together. Um, as far as the public, what I would think the public should know about Roanoke County is we are very engaged with the community. We have a public safety academy. Um, they meet every Tuesday and you get to see all kinds of different things that the department does. You get to go to the range and shoot our weapons. Uh, you get to drive our cars. Um, you'll get to see, you actually get actually get more than just police department. You get the fire department and the, the sheriff's office and the uh, regional jail uh, are all involved in that and that kind of gives you an understanding of how public safety works together in Roanoke County. Probably most proud of being a DRE, which is a drug recognition expert and an instructor in that. So I'm a subject matter expert in alcohol and drug impairment, how, it, how those things affect the body and uh, enforcing DUI laws. So I'm most proud of that.